Minneapolis's Tattersall Distilling is closed. The cocktail room is quiet, but in the back, staff is busy. With a much smaller staff than normal. John Kreidler still has a license to make hand sanitizer, which as we all know, is needed these days. So he is partnering with other Minneapolis distilleries and self-funding this operation to give it out for free to those who need it the most. First responders, hospitals, nursing homes, healthcare centers, uh, people who are out on the streets who are essentially people who are deemed essential that are, are doing what they can to fight this as well. In St. Louis Park, a new effort. Kyle Kettering at Copper Wing Distillery is doing the same. He set up a GoFundMe to help pay for his efforts to make hand sanitizer for first responders. And they need this uh, product to stay safe. First responders like those at the Long Lake Fire Department and Chief James Van Isle. For us, it's difficult in the field to be able to wash our hands. This is the only way that we're going to have to replenish it um, because our normal supply chain is, is just not there right now. Funding may be an issue, though, for these distilleries as they continue their production. That's why John and others are reaching out to the governor for help. We've presented ideas to the state uh, to see if we can get some help from them. But for now, the operation continues behind the scenes at Minnesota's distilleries. A lot of partners are stepping up and doing their part. In Minneapolis, Alex Hagan, Carol